An app which aims to provide a one-stop shop for those looking for support from homeless services has launched in Glasgow. The online portal allows charity workers and service users to access information on dozens of good causes around the city. Sasha Spratt reports. Centres like these across Glasgow provide free support to those struggling with homelessness. Today, flu and COVID jabs are being offered. But with dozens of hubs across the city offering different services, those in need can find it difficult to know where to go and when. Victor visits a variety of places. I'm actually housed, but um, obviously, like, aftercare is very, very important. And linking all the services together is very, very important. Services aren't communicating the way they might have done in the past, or there isn't any sort of central forum for people to engage and communicate with each other. So something with that electronic is wonderful. The new Street Support Network app has been launched, providing a single place to find services, providing support for people in need, but also street teams who offer advice. Usually we go down very similar avenues in terms of what we offer, the clients that we work with. I think it just kind of is there and it can offer maybe some different things we haven't thought about. There's a page for activities, for example. I think some of our guys have done comment on how bored they are. A lot of times we get calls about um, where's open for food provision, clothing. So it just means that we have accurate information that we can provide when needed. The app has been in place for some time in other UK cities. 80 organisations are currently mapped out, but there are hopes the network will grow. Glasgow's got a really good history of organisations working together and working in partnership, and this brings us together virtually to really share resources, share intelligence, and have a better response to people on the street. The portal can be accessed using phones or on a computer, with hubs providing online access for those who don't have their own connection. Sasha Spratt, STV News, Glasgow.